This is our final video in a five part series of vectors. In this video, we look at the applications of dot product. So in the last video, we looked at how to calculate the dot or scalar product of two vectors. So what are the practical applications of doing this? The main purpose of producing the dot product of two vectors is that it can be used to find the angle between any two vectors. This has many applications, but it's especially useful in graphical applications, programs and computer games. Let's work through an example. We'll calculate the angle between the following two vectors, a, which is 4, 9, and b, 8, 3. The formula for finding the angle between a and b is shown here on the screen, where the lengths of the vectors a and b can be written in mathematical notation as shown. There are five steps to follow. One, calculate the dot product of a and b. Two, calculate the length of vectors a and b using Pythagoras' theorem. Three, calculate a and b together, four, calculate cos, and five, look up the value in tables or use a calculator to find the final angle. Let's step through the one at a time. So step one, calculate the dot product of vectors a and b. Now the previous video went through how to calculate the dot product, multiplying each component of the first vector by each matching component of the second vector and adding all the results together. So we can now replace the top part of our formula with the dot product, which was 59. That's step one done. Step two is to calculate the length of vectors a and b using Pythagoras' theorem. So to do this, we take the first vector, square each element of the vector, add the results together, and perform the square root of the result. So the length of vector a is 9.85. We do the same for vector b and discover its length is 8.54. We can now move on to step three, which is to calculate a and b together. So now we have the lengths of vector a and b. We simply multiply the two numbers together and we get 84.12. We can now replace the whole bottom part of the formula with this value, 84.12. We now move on to step four, which is to calculate cos. Now we have the required value in the formula. We calculate the value of cos by turning the top value divided by the bottom value. So we get 0.701. Finally, step five, we can look up the value of cos in tables or use a scientific calculator to get the angle. This step, as we said, requires you to look it up. So 0.701 works out at approximately 45 degrees. In the diagram below, the angle represented by the orange dotted line should therefore be 45 degrees. And when we physically check that using a protractor, we can see the angle is indeed 45 degrees, spot on. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What are the applications of dot product? And how do you calculate the angle between two vectors?